Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcia and these are my gardening diaries. Today I'm going to build this. It is a walking greenhouse. Um, the one I wanted originally was from Wilco's but they've sold out. Excuse the plane going over. Um, so I've ordered one from Amazon. I will link it down below. I've got everything here. I'll just turn around and show you. So this is everything. And yeah, I just thought it'd be really nice to sew my own seeds and things. I'm going to pop it in here. I got an Amazon little one, not an Amazon, a little cause small one there. I've got another one which I can sort of build another day and show you that. But yeah, this is a walking greenhouse. So it's got like one, two, three shelves on each side. You can stand inside it, turn around, have space to do stuff. So yeah, it looks ideal really. Um, I'm brand new to gardening, so <laughs> never had a greenhouse. Not a clue, but I thought let's just build this and see what it's like. So if you want to know, carry on watching and I will meet you at the other side once it has been successfully built. <laughs> Check me out. <laughs> Ta -da! Um, I think I've done all right. Um, I'll turn it around. There's a couple of things you just need to watch out with. The instructions were pretty clear, um, but there's a couple of things that just caught me out. So I'll just talk to you about those. First of all, let's just have a little look at it. Um, I think it looks great, actually. I'm really pleased I've got this size. It's going to be plenty big enough. Um, it seems pretty, pretty sturdy-ish. Um, so it zips up. Oops, a daisy. So you've got one zip and two zips. Okay, um, there are some ties here where you can just obviously just roll this up and then tie it up. I'll do that actually and I'll show you. So I've tied the door up there, I've just rolled it up. Um, these, just a little bit too short to tie in a proper bow. So obviously if you tighten a double knot, you've got risking of not being able to undo it. I think I'd have liked Velcro on that, but I might pop a bit on myself, that's easy done. Um, there are ties inside on the cover, so you can tie it to the frame so the cover's not gonna blow off. Um, and they've got them like top and bottom and then also at the front you've got top bottom but then on the door side on this flap that also secures like in the middle and at the bottom which is good I've just double knotted those I haven't put the trays in yet well you saw I might you might have seen I did it I'd say put them on after you've done the frame it does recommend that you use cable ties to secure them and you definitely need to do that so I'm just gonna get some I think I've got some in the shed um, because otherwise these are not going to sit on and imagine if you've got your seeds on that and you knock into it they're going to fall off so I think they should have included some cable ties they're so cheap but once you've got your cable ties on that that's going to be really secure um, so yeah that's fine but I think it's great there's plenty of room in here um, and I'm like you know i'm not the daintiest of women and <laughs> um, but there's definitely plenty of space in here you could probably even have like a grow bag in the bottom maybe because i don't know you could couldn't you i could um if you wanted to grow tomatoes on one side you could just pop the grow bag in the bottom grow them up there and then have this size for seed you know for your, your pots and things um i think it's really good i'm really really pleased with it so let me know what you think if you've got one or not i think i think it cost me 40 pounds i'm really happy um really happy so i'll go i'll pop some cable ties and i'll put a little bit of footage in at the very end but yeah that's it it was super easy it's not taking me long oh that's it a couple of bits just to watch out for was obviously um when you get to this shelf here um, it's just obviously the little one without the connector going upwards. 
and then when it gets to here i put the wrong one in initially i got a bit confused but it's just this connector here and then the two little sort of angled ones go on the roof then you can see these are a bit more angular rather than round and they're there and what i did if you look closely they are actually stamped with the letters which corresponds to the instructions i only noticed this part of the way through so that's like piece d you can see there that's e so it's just to sort of help you out that way so yeah i didn't notice till later on but it was really really easy to do honestly super easy so yeah i'm absolutely delighted what is that what is it what's it doing in my greenhouse does anyone know what that oh my god it's full of bugs already that's disgusting oh my god it is <laughs> there's flies and that thing what is it oh my god, it looks like it's gonna sting me okay um oh, get out <laughs> Jeez. right don't fall over i have got you balanced on the shelf well it's not even the shelf on the frame so i've been and bought some cable ties from the village shop and i've rewarded my hard work with some chocolate um which i think is quite acceptable so i'm hoping that these are gonna just do the job i'm sure i've got some cable ties already um but let's just get them on i only need the smaller ones i think um are you still there? <laughs> oh no! Right, I'm just gonna, I don't know where to put you. I'm gonna fall over again. Are you okay? I, need, I have to take my tripod in, which was a mistake. I think you're gonna fall. I do think you're gonna fall. It's because it is wafting and it's knocking you. <laughs> I'm gonna pause you. I don't know what to put, do, where to put you. Hang on. Let's do this. I'm gonna put you down get this shelf secured and they'll come back okay not as straightforward as you think i started off fastening it like you would just with the edge onto the frame no then it doesn't fit so i thought well i'll do it this way so this one is terrible so and then this time i decided just to do this bit here the one that goes across and then just come across it and attach that to the frame this is brilliant so this is what i'm going to do so i'd recommend you just do it like that rather than trying to bring this bit to the frame these are too big and you could do it i wonder if you could maybe bend it so they can sort of fit round a little bit better but like this it's really secure i've just done four one in each corner so i will complete the rest of them fix this one as you can see here this one's bouncing up it doesn't want to sit flat um it's it's not secure at all whereas this one is not moving anywhere right i'm gonna try and show you one-handed because i haven't got my um tripod here literally i'm just poking it around so it's like that and then i'll bring it this is almost impossible hang on i cannot do this one hand <coughs> can't do it one-handed okay I've got it caught in so I can show you and then tighten it up. So basically, as you can see, I've got it like that. And then I have it facing downwards so that it's going to be nice and flat underneath. And you can just pull it to tighten. And that's it. That's that one done. And it's dead. Oops, it definitely works that way. That's the way to go. So that's them all finished. And it's, um, yeah, it's gone really, really well. I'm so pleased. Um, that's everything. So watch this space i'll let you know how it performs and how we do i've got nothing to compare it to i've never had a greenhouse or a proper one but yeah i'm happy that weird bug's gone which is good so i'm really really pleased job well done for today Ta -da! <laughs>